Hello viewers, welcome to Ask Me In Tutorial. In this video, let's take a look at what is MongoDB and some of the features of MongoDB and the basic or core concepts of MongoDB. Let's begin. What is MongoDB and who developed a MongoDB? MongoDB is an open source database and it is developed by MongoDB Incorporation. MongoDB actually stores the data in JSON-like documents that can vary in structure. So what are some of the features or benefits of using MongoDB? It provides dynamic schemas. So what are dynamic schemas? Like SQL world, we always go ahead and create a schema and create a relationship between the tables or the schemas and then we store the data into it. But in MongoDB, we do not have to create a schema. We directly insert a document into a collection and MongoDB take care of creating a schema for us. And there are no relationships between schemas. That's one of the major advantage of using MongoDB. So the second is MongoDB query language. Like SQL, MongoDB has its own query language in order to query the collections and documents. It's a very powerful and it is easy and simple to learn for programmers. Third, like SQL, there is no very complex joins here. We'll learn about the joins in detail in the later tutorials. The fourth, easily change the structure of collections. As I said earlier, MongoDB creates a dynamic schemas automatically for us and every document can be of a different format. We can go ahead and remove some of the fields in the document or we can go ahead and add some of the fields to it. So the structure of the collection can be easily changed. The fourth, it's easy to scale and make sure that the availability of the database is very high. The fifth benefit is it supports auto shard. What is auto sharding? So shard is nothing but a partitioning of database into various clusters or various database servers. So the main benefit of partitioning is it reduces the load on the server. Last but not the least is the professional support provided by MongoDB. So where exactly MongoDB is used? The major places where they are used is Big Data, CM and CD which is content management and delivery, mobile or social infrastructure, if you have a user data management or any kind of data hubs. Now let's learn some of the terminologies and concepts used in the MongoDB. When we compare to MySQL or Oracle, we do call it as table, rows, columns and joins. In MongoDB it's slightly different. We call tables as collections, we call rows as documents, we call columns as field and joins as embedded documents or linked documents. These are some of the features over MySQL versus MongoDB. All the things are pretty straightforward as MongoDB supports rich data model, it supports a dynamic schema, it do supports a data locality, it supports an auto shard, and it's very easy for the programmers to learn. These are some of the advantages of using MongoDB over MySQL. So let's go ahead and learn what is the difference between the MongoDB and SQL query languages. If you have to insert a data into MySQL, we do write a syntax something like insert into table the column names and we pass a value to it. But in MongoDB it's slightly different. It's something like this, db.collections.insert and we do pass a JSON object into the insert method. So if you want to retrieve a data from MySQL, we write select star from users. In MongoDB, we use db.users.find. This will actually retrieve all the data within the user collections. If you have to update something, the SQL way of updating is update users and then we have to set the column values. Here in the example we are setting that status is equal to C and there is a filter which we have given here where the age is greater than 25. If you see a Mongo query language, it's something similar where we are writing db.users.update method and, and again we are passing a JSON object into it 
inside the json object we are actually giving a filter age dollar gt 25 which means that age should be greater than 25 and then we are actually setting the status as c and then the last parameter is multi equals to true what this means is it will go ahead and update the multiple records if the filter actually satisfies i hope you have enjoyed this video do subscribe for this channel for more videos thank you have a good day